In the upcoming 1.2 patch of Zenless Zone Zero, two new disk drive sets were announced, namely Chaos Jazz and Proto Punk. Now, you might be wondering just how good are these new sets going to be? Well, after doing some testing in the creator server, today I will try to convince you why you should absolutely be farming these sets once they come out. Obviously, if you are planning on getting Caesar or Bernice, you probably should be farming these, as you'll see in a second here, these sets are basically made for them. However, even if you aren't planning on getting either of them, these two new disc sets are still really good. First off, let's go over what they actually do. Starting with Chaos Jazz. Chaos Jazz has a simple two-piece set effect that increases the anomaly proficiency by 30 points, the exact same effect as Freedom Blues. And for those of you wondering, yes, these can stack for a 60-point anomaly proficiency boost. In case you weren't aware by the way, for each point of anomaly proficiency, it increases the amount of damage dealt by your anomaly effects by 1% per point. As an example, here is Grace doing 1732 damage to a shocked enemy whenever she attacks. This is with an anomaly proficiency of 100, sorry not 1000, 116. And this is without any disc drives. And then, once equipping both a 2 set of Freedom Blues and a 2 set of Chaos Jazz, this increases her anomaly proficiency to 176, and so now she does 2628 damage to the shocked enemy. Now take note though, this is not a 60% increase on the 1732, instead it's an increase on the quote unquote 100% base anomaly damage. But as for Chaos Jazz's 4 piece set, this is a rather interesting one. Firstly, it increases both fire and electric damage by 15%, but more importantly, while the wearer is off field, the damage of their EX special attacks and assist attacks, so think either a defensive assist like a defensive parry or a quick assist, these are increased by 20%. This damage increase effect then lingers for another 5 seconds once they switch in. So firstly, the fire and electric damage increase, that's fine, it's no special requirement, it's just a nice damage bump. But this second effect, you might all realize, is pretty much the Bernice buff. After all, Bernice's whole gimmick is that her EX skill applies an afterburn effect to enemies that lingers even while she is off field. Now you might be looking at this and thinking that only Bernice can use this and it's pretty much useless for everybody else, but honestly the fact that the buff can stay active for 5 seconds after switching in makes it somewhat usable for other characters too. This essentially guarantees that when performing a defensive assist, this buff will still be active so long as it wasn't on cooldown. But naturally though, this set is geared towards units that want to apply Anomaly because of the 30 point boost, as well as fire or electric units because of the bonus damage, but also units that tend to spend very little time on field. Right now though, the two units that spring to mind other than Bernice are Grace and Seth. Of course, both are electric and both can make use of the Anomaly stats too, Grace since she is an Anomaly unit and Seth because he can actually build up Shock quite well even though he's a defender. But as an example though, Seth can come in with a defensive assist, throw out his EX skill, maybe a charged attack as well, and then switch back to another unit all well within that 5 second window. And honestly, that's what you do with Seth anyway. So this will just boost that short period of damage when Seth does show up on the field. Also, even if you don't use this set for the 4 piece effect, Disorder teams typically have units use a 4 piece Freedom Blue set and a 2 piece of their Elemental set. This is because the Elemental 4 piece set usually requires the Anomaly to stay active instead of being overwritten by a Disorder. Now this Elemental increase is only a 10% increase in comparison to a 30 point Anomaly boost which could eke out a bit more damage. Of course the caveat is that the Elemental damage increase is not just the Anomaly but also other types of attacks. But in a Disorder comp, Anomalies are probably going to be the bulk of your damage, so it would make sense to beef that up as much as possible. Next up is Proto Punk. The 2 piece set effect is pretty simple, it increases the shield strength of the user by 15%, but the 4 piece effect is the real hero of this set. When any squad member triggers a defensive or evasive assist, so basically when you switch in just before being hit, all squad members get a 15% damage increase for 10 seconds, and once again, Yes, this can stack with other damage increases like Swing Jet. To prove it, here is an example with Nekomata. At a base level, she does 254 damage with her basic attack, but after activating Swing Jazz by using an ultimate, her basic attack then does 292 damage. And then if we stack both effects by using an ultimate and also a defensive assist, Nekomata now does 330 damage. Of course, as mentioned though, the biggest similarity this effect has is with Swing Jab, which is also 15% damage increase, but it does have a slightly longer duration of 12 seconds, but the activation effect for Swing Jazz is much stricter, as it requires either a chain attack, which needs you to stun the enemy, 
or an ultimate, which you need to build up to. By the way, speaking of building up ultimates, I do have a guide video that explains exactly how to build them up really quickly. You should check it out after this. In comparison though, Protopunk only requires an assist, which is much easier to do. I guess technically speaking, you are somewhat limited in that you have only 6 assist points. But otherwise though, with how frequently enemies attack, this buff can have a much higher uptime than Swing Jazz's. Now, as for the 2 piece effect though, this is a bit lackluster on the Protopunk set. A shield increase is really only usable by Ben, Seth, and Caesar. And even then, assuming that you're capable enough at dodging and parrying consistently, more shields aren't actually that useful. Whereas on the other hand, Swing Jazz's 2 piece set effect is amazing. It gives an energy regen effect, and it's pretty much universal. I mean, who would not want more energy regen? But honestly though, the 4 piece set alone on the Protopunk is absolutely worth it. But again, at the end of the day, these buffs do stack, so you could honestly run both of them. Have one unit on the 4 piece Swing Jazz, and have another unit on the 4 piece Protopunk. Especially since after all, Protopunk can require anybody to do a defensive assist. You can literally just have somebody wearing it just for the effect, you don't even need to use them really. But now that we know what these two sets do though, the question becomes, should you farm them? And the answer is, yeah, probably. <laughs> these two disc sets will both drop from the same stage, and both of them are very good in terms of being usable by many characters in general. Again, for Chaos Jazz, even though the 4-piece set is a bit more restrictive to electric and fire units, the 2-piece anomaly proficiency boost is a nice alternative to Freedom Blues. And for Protopunk, the 4-piece effect alone arguably makes it worthwhile, even regarding the sort of useless 2-piece effect, which makes it a nice contender for Swing Jazz. And speaking of those alternatives of Swing Jazz and Freedom Blues, take into consideration that the other routine cleanup stages, right now, almost always have one good general set and one sort of useless set depending on whether or not you have a certain character. For example, if you want to farm Freedom Blues right now, you run the risk of getting the Ice-type Polar Metal set, which if you don't have Ellen or Lycan, is pretty much useless for you. And likewise, if you're farming Swing Jazz, I hope that you have Shu Yen, otherwise I don't know what you're gonna do with those Aether Discs. I guess Nicole can use them. But here, you either get a set that can help boost anyone's anomaly proficiency damage, or a set that can boost the entire team's damage by 15%. It's a win-win no matter what disc you get to drop. But again though, I am not your father, I cannot tell you what to do, I'm just pointing out my observations to help you make your own decisions. Otherwise though, thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, as always, liking and commenting is greatly appreciated, and also maybe subscribing. And in doing so, you'll also be notified for all of my upcoming videos that will help you prepare for patch 1.2. But otherwise, until next time, bye bye Also, if there's anybody wondering why I sound different, it's because I'm recording in a closet, because I'm away from my regular recording setup. Hopefully though, it doesn't affect the quality of the video.